In the South Bay, the Valley Transportation Authority trying to recover from sort of a one-two punch. First it was COVID, then a deadly mass shooting back in May. VTA took a big step forward today. KPI X5's Kit Doe live at VTA Bus Yard with the story for us. Kit? Yeah, 27 people graduated from uh, their class today. They're brand new uh, bus drivers. However, the agency's still down about 70 bus drivers. They are making some headway on that front. For these new graduates, it was not easy, but it was worth it. After a tough year and a half of dealing with the pandemic and mourning friends and loved ones, VTA paused for a brief moment to feel some joy. Come on, Ms. Devorah. <laughs> Deborah Burton is one of five graduating women to enter this male-dominated field. What do women bring to this job that men don't? Love. <laughs> and we bring strength. We know how to open up. We know how to support. Can't nobody bear strength like a woman can. The yards are starving for you. They're so happy that you graduated. Oh, man, man. This graduating class now brings the total number of bus drivers to 862. Full staffing is 932. Bus service is now running at 90% capacity. For some routes, that means pickups that happened every 12 to 15 minutes is now a 20-minute wait. So we can't offer that faster service until we have more drivers on the road. So as we hire more drivers, we can work toward getting to 100% service. The agency has 70 bus driver openings. Starting pay is 42,000, topping out at 70K in four years. And yes, there is a pension. Eric Schantz used to be homeless and rode the well-known 22 line to stay warm and dry. The other day, he actually drove it. It's a great feeling to be able to uh, pray for him and, and, you know, give them a little bit of encouragement and talk with them and, and treat, them, treat them like a human being. Jesse Davis, 61, is the oldest graduate in the class. Been through a lot in my life. And to make this change and to accept this challenge, I'm just overwhelmingly full with joy to know that you can do it. You still, I'm not done yet. Love the enthusiasm. So, Kit, as we heard, they got to hire drivers to get back to the service level they want. When's that supposed to happen? Well, that is uh, anybody's guess uh, at this point, but they are making some headway. They are chipping away at that shortage. They're expecting another 28 drivers to graduate on December 29th. So, uh, maybe by next year. Who knows? Okay, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It's good news. Thanks, Kit.